Hey guys, it's Goofy with the Balls, and today I want to talk to you guys about how you can get more score streaks in Advanced Warfare. So now, the update that came out on Thursday that I made a video about the weapons balancing, I missed this part of the update when I was reading through the patch notes. I mean, I saw this bullet, but I skipped over it, and it said something like, adjusted point values for various parts and various game modes. And again, I wasn't really sure what that meant. But after playing, I figured it out. In game modes like Domination and Uplink, they adjusted the kill value from 50 to 100, so now it's more like the Team Deathmatch kill system. And for certain objective things, they brought up the score from 150 to 200. So like in Domination, for example, they made kills, like I said, 50, from 50 to 100, and flag capping is now 200 instead of 150, and defend on the flag is now 150 instead of 125 like it was before. So it's just way easier to get points now in Domination, and the same goes for Uplink, 100 points per kill, 200 points if you kill the ball carrier, and I think it's 250 if you score. So it's just way easier to get those score streaks. Like in Domination, it used to be to get a regular 400 point UAV, you'd have to cap two flags to get 300, and then get two kills on top of that, which was way too much. Or it could be one flag cap and five kills on top of that, and that's that's just way too much for UAV. But now, it's either two flag caps will get you to it, or one flag cap and two kills, which is much closer to what I think it should be. And the same goes for Uplink. It used to be one score and five kills for the UAV, and now it's just one score and two kills, which is much better. So I'll show you a couple clips in the background here where I'm playing Domination with this new point system. And you can see pretty much right off the bat, I already captured the home flag. I run over to the B flag. I kill three people while on the B flag and capture the B flag. And that gets me like 850 or 900 points. I get my sentry gun and I'm already working on another UAV. I end up dying, but still, it's just way easier to get these points now. And I'll skip ahead here. And you can see at the end of the first round, I have almost 4,000 points. That's insane. With the old point system, it was impossible to get 4,000 in one game. You had to really rush, play the objective really hard, and capture and defend a lot of flags if you ever wanted to try that. But you can see here I had 4 captures, no defense, and a couple of the offense medals you saw in the beginning. And 22 kills, which is pretty good, but that's ground war, so that's nothing you guys can't do. And 4,000 points, that's ridiculous. And I'll skip ahead to the end of the game, where someone on the other team has 9,000 points with 7 captures and 2 defends, which really isn't that bad if you think about what you had to do to get 9,000 points before. But just one more thing I want to mention, like I said, this came with the patch that came out yesterday, but that was only for next gen, or I guess current gen consoles, the Xbox One and the PS4. This update isn't out yet on the 360 and the PS3, and I think it will come out eventually because this has made the game a lot better. There's just a lot more kill streaks and domination, and it makes the game a lot more fun. So I'm sure last gen consoles will see that update shortly enough. So yeah guys, that's what I got for you today. Start playing domination if you're on the Xbox One or PS4, and if you're on 360 or PS3, wait for the patch to come out and then start playing domination because you get a lot more points and you can get a lot more score streaks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you could slap that like button for me and if you guys are new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. That way you can stay up to date every time I post a new tip, information, or advanced warfare gameplay video. This has been Goofy Goop the Balls and I'll catch you all in the next video.